today I wanted to do an updated video for our raw diet. We have been doing raw diet since Venus was a puppy and she's six years old now. And I get a lot, a lot of questions about their diet in our old videos, about if we're still doing it and um, how it's going. And then we also get other questions like about salmonella and questions about their health. So in this video, more or less, I want to respond those questions and show you what we are still doing and things that we have improved and things that we are adding on now, like the turmeric paste. That's something brand new that we are starting now that Venus is getting either older. We're still doing like the same thing that we were doing, buying box of meat for them and for us so they get the same quality of meat that we eat and the same quality of vegetables that we eat as well. Also, I wanted to mention really early in the video by any means, I'm a dog specialist, I'm not a veterinarian, I'm not a nutritionist. Before you take your dog to raw, ask your veterinarian, do your own research, check different websites, check different people they are doing it, how their dogs are doing it. Don't only take my word or the word of somebody else. Do your own research and do what is best for you and your dog. One question that we get a lot, especially when they see that we put raw eggs on their food and the raw chicken is about salmonella. And the they ask us if the dogs cannot get sick from the salmonella. It's very uncommon for dogs and cats to get sick from salmonella, but they do could get it in rare instances, but we could get it. So we have to wash our hands after we feed them. We have to wash the bowl after they're done, clean the surface where we prepare the food. Also, when they poop, we need to wash our hands after we pick it up, even though we are using a baggie to pick up the poop. There's bacteria that could be transmitted to humans, so you have to be very careful after you clean their bowls and after you pick up their poop. Another question that we get a lot is how many times a day we feed them. We feed them one small breakfast brunch type of food. That one is a really small bowl. And then at night, we fill them the full amount of meal that they will get like at dinner. We feed them around 10 o'clock at night and we feed them around two pounds of food at night. And during the day, it's just like a small bowl of like a brunch where we give them more um, the vegetables and sometimes we add like an egg or we add a little bit of the chicken. But normally the brunch is very light and normally it's more or less the vegetables. We get asked why we don't add fish to our foods and the answer is because Venus and Apollo are very picky, they are spoiled and they don't like fish. We have tried tuna, we have tried salmon, we have tried trout and sardines and they don't want fish, they really don't like it. I wish they do because fish is really good in omega-3 and it have a lot of good fatty acids but Venus and Apollo, they don't want anything to do with fish. They don't like it. They don't even like treats with fish flavor. So that's the reason we don't do it, but you should try it because most dogs i seen it on Instagram and on here on YouTube that they like it and it's really good for them. And the last question that we get asked a lot is the price. Is raw feeding expensive or is cheaper than kibo? And it is expensive, for sure it's expensive, but kibble also could be expensive if you're giving them a high-end kibble. So it depends on which food you're giving your dog, but overall raw feeding, it could be very expensive. We buy the same amount of meat every week, but we use half for us and half for them. So I cannot exactly tell you how much we spend a week on them. But I will try my best to do my calculations, but the chicken that we buy, the beef that we buy, and the vegetables that we buy is for them and for us. And we do groceries like every four days, more or less. So it could be expensive and it could be time consuming as well because I have to prepare their veggie mix. I prepare it for three days. The turmeric paste, it lasts me like two weeks and the meat we buy it every four days and i cut it fresh every night
We start with turmeric. This one is ground powder, but if you found the root, it's even better. In my local supermarket, there's not the root, so I use this. This one is a seasoning that they sell with superfood for dogs. It has a lot of mixes of pre-made um, seasonings that are good for dogs, like rosemary. Then we add some carrots. They are a good source of fiber, potassium, and vitamins. We also add broccoli. They have fiber and vitamin C, and they love broccoli. They eat it even like that. Apollo loves broccoli. That's one of his favorite. We also add sweet potato. They love the sweetness of the flavor and is good for the digestive system. It also have a lot of fiber and other vitamins. We also like to add some squash, different types of squash. Not only this one, we also add sometimes zucchini or whichever one is available. We are in pumpkin season, so we also like to add whatever is on season. We put it to boil for around 30, 40 minutes, and then when they are done, we let the steam out a little bit and we make it into a mash. It's like more or less like a mashed potato, but with all the different uh, vegetables and roots, all the good stuff. Sometimes I add um, coconut oil if it's too stiff. It's really hard for us to find green tripe that haven't been bleached. Here in the stores, they always have it bleached. So we found this one online. It's 100% green tripe. And it's supposed to be all natural ingredients. Nothing, no preservatives. Nothing added. And they seem to love it. It smells really, really bad. So if that's a killer for you, it does smell really bad. But I want to show you the difference between this one that is actually green versus the one you could buy in the store This already bleach. This is the one that they sell in the store that is already clean and bleach. This one is the green tribe as it comes, green. You can see that it have never been clean. It look very green and the smell is awful. So here is the difference. So here is their plate. This is their veggie mix, the green tripe, some beef and some chicken. You want this, buddy? Wait. <coughs> part of keeping them healthy is to add in the steps and movement to their life we want them to be very active and hit their step goal every day so we use the feet color to more or less monitor how good or bad they're doing some days like especially when it rains they do really really bad so when we see that they do bad on one day next day we go to a place like this in the farm but there's a dirt road that we could make them run and exercise extra because we want them to be as healthy as they can be. We want them to keep them motivated. We want them to keep them as young as they can. Venus already turned six and we want to keep her like a youngster for a really long time. So for us, it's very important to get them out and exercise them. We not only want healthy dogs, we want happy dogs. We want them to enjoy life and be as healthy as they can be. So we put a lot of effort in their feeding and in their exercise so they live a long, long life with us. We want them to last as long as we could have them. They're very special. They're like our children. So we want the best for them. That's why we're always doing research in how we could improve their life, how we could improve their lifespan, which are the best foods, the best the best way to exercise them as i mentioned before venus already turned six so she is already a little older so i want to prevent any joint pains or any discomfort large dogs like malamuse they get hip dysplasia so i'm starting to add a golden turmeric paste to their meals i don't do it to every single meal but i do it at least two to three times 
a week. And the golden paste is super easy to make. You just use ground turmeric, water. Let it simmer until it get like a paste consistency. And when it look like a paste and it's thickened, it's ready. Take it out of the fire. Add a little bit of coconut oil. Coconut oil is great for dogs. Even if you don't use it on the paste, you could add it to their meal and smash it a little bit. They also love the flavor. Also add a little bit of black pepper. The black pepper is for them to digest easier the turmeric. That's the purpose to add uh, black pepper to this mix. And these are all the ingredients that the golden paste have. Mix it really, really well until all the black pepper and the coconut oil with the turmeric is uh, combined. And when it's cool, you could put it in a jar and keep it in the refrigerator for about two weeks. Some of the benefits of the golden paste is anti-inflammatory powers, also is a pain reliever, as well as it has shown a positive effect on cancer cells. So if your dog is propensed to have cancer, this will reduce the chances. We add it here in our smash sometime. This is an, another day, a second smash that I have done. And it, it, you see, I put like two spoons of the golden paste to use it as butter. Here is some of the meats that we give them. We give them organic ground beef, we also give them this cut, I'm not sure what it is, this shock pot rose boneless. We also give them for, from this one, hold on. This one here is from our local supermarket. We tend to get the cheapest one. And this one here is from our local butcher shop. This one we buy in a big quantity and we cut it in fillets. And we give some to the dogs and some for us. The same with the chicken. The chicken we buy the organic one because we use half for them, half for us. Are we talking about your food? Is that your food? <gasps> That's your food, buddy? Are you hungry? You want yum yums? Well, that was it for today's video. If you have any other questions, please leave them down below. I will try to respond them in the comments, but if not, I will address them in the next row video. Bye!